Good afternoon. Well, I can't say afternoon, but hi guys. This is Juanita. I'm spending my weekend coloring some bath bombs and I thought maybe someone may be interested in watching it or tagging along. But anyway, uh, these bath bombs are for uh, a customer. So I thought maybe I would share with you guys what I'm doing to uh, color them. And hopefully you don't hear the noise in the background. My granddaughter's here and she's watching something on TV. But this is what I use to color my bath bombs. Just a little bit of alcohol and uh, some mica. Actually, I like this one a little better because it I outlined it with the gold, but I was wanting something maybe like brown, but I think this is really pretty. And I did this one first where I had added the gold inside because I wasn't liking how the trim outside was coming. But I think the more... You work with something it'll become easier to uh, work with so hopefully this will satisfy what I want to do but I thought that was so pretty and I really like uh, bath bombs I don't really purchase them at the store but I like seeing the different designs and what people come up with when they're making them. And this doesn't uh, cause the bath bomb to start to rise or like it was in, you know, some water. But it's enjoyable. And this is the pastime that I used to do when I was crafting a few years ago. So I'm back at it. Spray just a little bit more alcohol in here. It dries up pretty quick. So, and you know the alcohol evaporates so you don't have to worry about it remaining in the bath bomb. I thought this was really, really cute. I also make soaps with the molds as well. But I'll just keep working on the bath bombs. I saw uh, someone doing like the Halloween bath bombs. So that kind of gave me an idea what I could do with mine. This, uh, Paintbrush might be a little large. Need a little more alcohol. And you can use any brush that you feel comfortable with. This one is the one I had started out with, so uh, hopefully I can get in between these lines. I'm trying to keep from going on the outline. You know, when we were kids, got to stay in between the line. So it looked look really nice to outline it. Because some people, they really know how to color. I don't do too bad. I like coloring. But I haven't done it in a while. So I might do some coloring. While I'm kind of journaling. I had to just jump in here because I was supposed to be doing my videos for uh, journals as well. See? That doesn't look so bad. I like it. I may just leave the outline and not trim it or maybe I could just trim the top but I'm afraid to mess with it. Maybe just leave it like it is. 
I don't know what you guys think. Maybe by the time I get my comb it'll be too late, but I just got an idea of how I'll be proceeding with them. And I just wipe it off with my little towel. I have a towel here. So that's gonna dry. Um, look like I'm missing a color on the side. Oh, well, maybe I might try orange. See what I can do with the orange. Can't use too much. And these can, oh, it can be rinsed off if you're really not interested in having that look like it should have been orange in here. You don't want the, uh, the mica. It's not really showing up that much, but it's okay. You get the idea. I'll just come up with a different idea next time. So, that's my bath bomb. And that's just a little quick way to show you how you can color your your bath bombs. I did a few earlier today. And these are some that I did earlier. Hope you can see those, the yellow. And the fragrance is uh, bubble gum and sugar cookie. So it should be something nice for the kiddies, the kiddos. They should enjoy it. So I did this one earlier, but I was getting like, nah, don't add the other purple things on there. So it's done now. And then I had started on this one. I think I have another idea for that. So I'm gonna see what I can do with this purple. I probably could have looked at a flower book that would have gave me a little more ideas to come up with for painting the flower. And they could have just stayed plain. I didn't have to add color, but I just thought it was something that would be kind of cute, kind of catch the eye. So what I'm thinking about doing is just putting uh, dots inside might just be a little too there I think it's okay now oh that's cute made a little face <laughs> maybe I should just leave that I kind of like that that's really cute and plus it's for a little kid so I think I'll uh, leave it yep I won't do anything else to it but that's a good idea for the next some you know bombs i make i'll just make them into some little flowers so okay so that was that i just want to jump on here real quick to let you guys see what i was doing for my weekend and hope you guys are having a, a good weekend and have something that you really enjoy doing and if I come on here again, you can follow along. This is my night for myself, but my granddaughter's calling me, so I guess I'll get off of here and see what she wants. So I hope to see you guys real soon. Have a good night. If you like, subscribe. Uh, leave a comment if something you like to see me uh, work on or an idea that you have to see how it goes. Any questions is welcome. So I love you guys. Have a good evening. Bye.